a 20,000-year-old story etched in charcoal is being redrawn. This gang of forgers are on a mission to bring this invaluable prehistoric art to the surface as they patiently create a replica of the doomed Cosquer cave. This extraordinary site is hidden in the Calanque of Cassis, near Marseille. It was a long forgotten treasure until 1985. It was then, during a solo dive, that Henri Cosquet from Marseille slithered up a narrow 150 meter long passageway and discovered an immense cavern. It was grandiose, beautiful. I began taking photos, and while I was doing that, I came across a painted hand. A priceless archaeological treasure trove was gradually revealed before his eyes. Almost 200 paintings of antelopes, horses, bison, and most surprisingly of all, seals and penguins, animals that were present in the south of France during the Ice Age 27,000 years ago. For the scientific world, it was a staggering discovery. Analysis of these walls reveals a great deal about our distant ancestors. For 14,000 years, men, women, and children came to this cave to draw animals, horses, bison, seals, and penguins, depicting the creatures that surrounded them on the Mediterranean coast at the time. But they also did other slightly more mysterious things, such as removing limestone from the cave in large quantities, without anyone knowing exactly why. The site, named after its discoverer, is still the only known painted cave with an entrance beneath the sea. It's incredible to still have this sign, this greeting. Oh no, the damage. But it's a treasure doomed to disappear because of rising water levels. Within a few decades, the cave will be completely flooded. Underneath, you can see where the sea has eroded the material. The only way to save this legacy is to create a copy, a perfect replica built far from the shores of the Mediterranean, here in the Dodogne region, where a team of specialists is reproducing the walls of the Cosquer cave, down to the smallest detail. We're going to reconstruct absolutely everything. Micro-reliefs, textures, translucent materials, that sort of thing. Alain Dalis is helming a team of visual artists who already carried out the reproduction of the Lascaux and Chauvet caves. But with access being too dangerous to physically enter the Cosquer cave, for this project, they are working entirely from 3D surveys using virtual reality techniques. Of course, I'd love to go down there because the micro details, shimmers and translucence can only be seen on the original. On resin panels, the artists project the image of the original cave to duplicate its relief, its hues, and even the artist's intention. All good, aside from it being maybe a bit off on the left. You can't just make a copy. You have to figure out how they went about it, see whether they prepared the wall, then examine the movement of the paint to see whether they worked from left to right or right to left, depending on the density of the line and where it starts. That's what you need to find out. Get inside their head. I try to. After four years of painstaking work, the panels head for Marseille and the Villa Mediterranee, where the replica will be assembled. Painters and sculptors admire the work performed on this Lascaux of the Seas. We were admiring the slight movement of the water on the wall, creating a rippling effect of light that really brings the setting to life. Single file, please. Three of us. Great. Since 2022, visitors have been able to discover Cosquer as if viewing it aboard a small submersible. 1,750 square meters of cave and almost 500 engravings and paintings are faithfully reproduced. Indescribable. Pure emotion. 
It's really immersive, like experiencing what they saw when they first discovered the cave, so that's really great. I love the drawings and the shiny stones. You don't need diving gear, you feel like you're in the cave. Combined with the museum, it's perfect for both children and adults. While the real cave will soon be a sunken treasure, its legacy is now on full display. In its first year, the replica of the Cosquer cave has already attracted 800,000 visitors. <laughs>